to serve us a couple of opening remarks about the day, and then we'll take some questions. Yeah, sure. Uh, number one, we ordered beautiful weather for today. It was by far the best day of the whole spring, so that was great. Um, appreciate all the fans that came out and, and supported. It was a good, good, good day, good atmosphere. Um, I love our guys' approach. I think they did a good job of approaching the scrimmage. You know, spring games kind of are, are what they are, and we, we kept that clock rolling. Um, overall, I think we've had a great spring. I'm, I'm very happy where we're at on, on both sides of the ball. And uh, really happy to get, get through today. No injuries, no, no, no one down with anything. So we, we got a team that'll be now full strength as we get in the summer, have a full summer to get ready for the season. Any questions? Coach, talking about full strength, uh, your two QBs from last year uh, watched from the sideline, dressed, obviously weren't going to play. Give us an update on them, and uh, and when will the competition begin in earnest for their starting quarterback job? Right. Yeah. You know, they're they're even, they're a little bit ahead of schedule right now with, with where they're at. Our plan all along has been, you know, by the end of May, have them full strength, 100 percent, so they have a full summer to, um, you know, get ready to go. So that'll start right away as we as we get into preseason camp. I mean, you know. Um, I think any time at any position when there's good competition going on, it makes everyone better. And so, I mean, we'll have that going at that position in particular, and uh, yeah, we look forward to that. Those guys, I just love their, their mental approach. They're so locked in. They're learning the offense. They're doing all the things that they're able to do right now. And uh, so we're excited to get them back in the summer. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. You could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know-how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on-prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877-797-8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Speaking of offense, what do you think of the first look at uh, your new, new scheme? Well, it was it was everyone else's first look. It wasn't, wasn't my first look. Uh, I, I love what we're doing offensively. I really think it, it's going to give us an opportunity to be very successful. Uh, it's been a good spring overall. Our guy, I think our guys have really, really adapted, learned it, um, and doing a good job with it. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep building that. Obviously, the, the summer will be big for us, too, to, to keep going that way and, and, and just learn all the terminology and re really get it down right. Coach, how encouraging was it to see your two big transfers, Marcus Lewis and uh, Myron Tower, really show off their stuff today? Yeah, they're, they're good players. They're terrific. Um, you know, they've been consistent all spring too, I and mean, they, they, they perform that way, you know, pretty much throughout the entire spring every day. So, um, we're excited about those guys. They're definitely be, be uh, big contributors for us. In terms of the offense, uh, Jake obviously showed again what he does in terms of finding the end zone. Is it the offense suiting him, or just that that's just that, who he is as a football player? Yeah, you know what, a little bit of both. I mean, I, I think. Um, what we do offensively really allows for a guy to, to create a role for himself and, and being multiple in our personnel and our formations and what we do, you know, you have certain strengths, those show and we can find a way to utilize you. And, and Jake obviously has a nose for the end zone. He's a terrific running back. So I, I think it'd be great. Jake has always been such a big contributor, especially teams wise for us. And I think you'll see his role increasing more and more in offense. Coach, what'd you think of your younger offensive lineman today? You know, I have to go back and watch the tape at Sword and see all the time. I, I, there were some things that they messed up. There were some things they did good. I, I noticed that, but but overall, we'll see it. I, I, I like how our guys progress throughout spring. They've gotten a bunch of reps with with, with you know Damon. We've held out a lot. Durham, we held out all of spring, um, and then Terrence also went went down in spring. So um, they've gotten a lot more reps because th those guys haven't been around, which has been great for them, and it'll help us in the long run, I believe. You talked about it the other day about the depth of running back, and obviously you see today with uh, you know what 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 McFarland did, and then Javon did you know. His burst is that indicative of what's been going on all all spring? Yeah, I mean those guys. You know, Anthony McFarland has been been terrific. He's got such big play capability. He's finally healthy and in shape, and like like he, he is who we all know he is. You know, it just just took some time with that. When he got here, he was coming off an injury, and we expect huge things from him. Um, he's had a great spring. Javon Leak as well. He's got big play capability. He, he has showed that in spurts, even in games last year as a freshman. And I, and I really think you'll see more and more of that. But I mean, you look at that running back room I mean, from, from top to bottom. You know, I mean, Lolo. You know, Lorenzo didn't even, didn't even go today. We held him out of, out of the, the spring game, and uh, I mean, he's been terrific all spring as well. So we, we have great depth there. We're going to continue to utilize those guys. TJ, with the school starting and the in the near future, now what would you like to see with the hire there? And, um, I mean, I, you know, I, to me, I worry about 
control the controllables and, and, and what's with our team. I, I uh, you know, I, I have great faith in, in our administration and our, our university, and we'll, we'll do the right thing. So, what do the winners get? We talked about this a little on Wednesday. What's the what's the big get for winning the game today? Uh, we, we didn't. Uh, we had a big scrimmage and competition a week ago that was kind of more for that. Today, today was uh, we didn't put it on the line with it. That it was more about let's go a clean, clean scrimmage, play well, stay healthy, take care of our teammates. Talked about guys being healthy. Another dude who had a uh, slower start to his career. DJ Turner put on a show today, so to speak. Talked about his performance. Yeah, you know, um, DJ is another guy with what we do offensively. I think really helps him because he, he can. Um, do so many different things. He's a very talented receiver, catches the ball well. He's great with the ball in his hands as well. So, you know, with, with, the, with the fly sweeps and, and different things, we, ways we can get on the ball, I think really helped DJ. He's had a really solid spring. We're, we're kind of big things for him.